Welcome to Monaco. It's me again, der Bayer, and I drive a Bordini in the 1953 Gold Star Championship for sports cars in RF2. It's the third race of the season and so far things have been going good. I'm currently sitting in uh, P1 in the class championship of the 3 liters and I am currently in second in the overall championship results. I pre-qualified as the second fastest in class, uh, fifth or sixth overall, um, so I should be on pace for a very good finish. I also finished in second in class in the actual qualifying here for the event, so I'm starting from P5 and hope to have a good result against my biggest opponents, Darren Andrews and Bruce Gardner. Unfortunately, I caught a cold just on race day and this is now me speaking on the day thereafter and you may probably still hear it in my voice. I was not feeling too good, um, it was hard to concentrate, it was hard to stay awake, um, but yeah, I tried my best. This is a tight circuit, I don't have a lot of power, I needed to get a good result in. So without further ado, let's jump into the race. We have in front in the red launcher Tom D. Then we have um, Niklas Kirsten, Isidoro in the Jaguar D-Type and with the grey car Darren Andrews, my big rival. And right next to me sits Riz Gardner in the green Aston Martin. Riz at the inside line, although qualifying one spot behind me, so he could get past me and also Nicolas Hillebrand in the powerful Lagonda was able to jump me at the start. In the beginning I tried to yeah, stay alive try to get a feel for the car, try to avoid everything that was going on around me. Um, I somehow didn't get the feeling for the car. I had no confidence in the beginning, so I was very, very cautious. And that also led to a few bad situations just in the very first lap. Sneaking up behind me is Erwan Bouguer, um, former teammate. Um, driving the Talbot and yeah he obviously had a better run at the beginning. The first run to the chicane was what I was most afraid of. Um, so many cars, there are hay bales everywhere and yeah as it turned out somebody, I think it was Nicholas, managed to get a few of those launched into the air. I had to take ev evasive action and then Evan tried to overtake around my outside and I didn't expect that. Tagged him a bit in the rear but luckily we both got away from it. In the next corner I managed to get back in front thanks to the good brakes or the light car I had. Um, but yeah Actually, that's not what I wanted. I wanted a yeah, quiet race. I wanted to be left alone. Um, I wanted to just do my laps and, and concentrate at what I can do. But it all was a bit too exciting for me, so already in the second lap I had my first moment. Clipped the hay bales and was lucky to po still point into the right direction. So that's the first life of my Gordini spent already in the second lap. More of that to come, I promise. Tabak corner in lap 4 and something that never happened to me during practice, I clipped the inside wall and thought it was over. It was a heavy, heavy hit. Another life gone. Car was drivable, but yeah, felt more loose than before and more unpredictable. Didn't do myself a favor with that. I was scared and Evan was close again, so I decided to just let him pass, try to get into a rhythm for myself. This was going to be a race of attrition, this was clear already and I just wanted to be on my own and find my place in the race.
it didn't really work out. Um, I lost Aaron and still was all over the place. Clipped the inside of the harbor chicane, another life gone and again this yeah, should have been the end of my race to be honest. So lucky to still have four wheels on the wagon, so lucky not to roll, so lucky to stay on the tarmac and not in the water. Um, yeah, don't know. This was a lucky day. I then found a nice place right behind Peter, um, he was going at a very nice pace for me and I just kept at his tail and then when we approached Tabak together I saw a little fire there. Yeah, This was done by Darren Andrews, um, unfortunately he clipped the outside of Tabak from my point of view compared to my incidents a minor one and apparently it ruptured the fuel tank and that's his race done. Then the attrition really began from P4, Niklas Kirsten died at the harbor in lap 20, so that's another place gain for me. Sitting in P7 then, P2 in class, and I would have been so happy with that already. But one lap later Isidoro decided to have a rather hilarious exit from the race. Um, basically he avoided a big mess in front of him very very well, but then forgot to brake and rolled backwards into the harbor. Enough screw-ups from other people, now it's time for one from me again. Again, how she came, it's just pure pain. Had a big lock-up and crash into the hay bales. Don't know if they saved me from crashing into something harder, but definitely also did more damage to the car. I'm happy that I survived as always, but yeah, it doesn't look too good. Tom D, who had pitted um, before that, because of some damage probably, got ahead of me again, so I was back in P6, still P2 in class, but yeah, from, from there on it was just limping home. It was still not even halfway through the race and I was completely done.
In the meantime, Nico Hillebrand has been to the pits and also I was passing Erwan, who also had a major off. So let's take a look at that. Again, Tapa corner, went in a bit too confident, hit the outside, not as bad as Darren, but still damaged the car. He was able to continue, but he went to the pits and I was able to pass. Then in P4, that was still not it. Um, when going up after Saint Devant, I finally jumped into third, and that meant that Tom D also had died. Basically, had some power oversteer, took the guardrail, and then the car fell to pieces. It felt so wrong being in P3 after such a race, um, P2 in class still. Riz Gardner approached me at the end of the race. I really didn't want to do another lap and maybe just wanted to let him pass. Maybe wanted to take him out in the last corner. But yeah, Riz also tried to hand me another place very hard. So this is from lap 48, I think. He was not successful in ripping the wheel off, managed to continue. So he was able to take the win. I'm very, very happy for him, uh, the only guy who really put it all together today, except for this one major mistake. So congrats to us, um, looking forward to the rest of the season. Second place and class win in the 3 liter plus goes to Peter, then we have on fourth Robin De Vos and the 2 liter win for Mark. The 1.5 liter win goes to Christoph, also a maiden win. In the gold star I am now in the lead. Again, this feels completely wrong, Rus behind me, consistency is king. Let's see where this goes, I don't think we two, both of us, will be able to take it. In the Silver Star, I am now behind Rus, um, who with his two 15 point finishes really is uh, in a good shape. But the next races will be on fast tracks, so let's see if I can shake it up a bit. I am glad this is over, I am glad I survived, I am very lucky I survived. Now I just want to recover and prepare for the next one. Next one is 2.4 hours of spa, which means we have a day and night transition and probably also a lot of deaths if we remember the HRC race from last year where only 4 or 6 people survived until the end. So stay tuned for that, see you again next time.